We introduced you to an Afghan family, the father, a longtime interpreter for a retired Murfreesboro soldier trying to leave Afghanistan. Tonight, we want to tell you that Z made it out of Afghanistan and is currently in Kuwait going through security clearance. He's been offered a job when he gets to Murfreesboro that comes with full medical benefits for him and his family. It's amazing the outpouring of love for yeah. this family already. Well, I talked to Matt Hosepian tonight. He is the man who helped Z and two other families get out of Afghanistan here in the last few days. The retired soldier also says the GoFundMe created to support them raised more than $30,000 in one day. Now that, folks, is the good news. Hosepian says the news is awful for the hundreds of other Americans and their families still in Afghanistan tonight. He says our government has failed our country. So if I was an American and I was over there, I would pretty much know that I'm dead. Um, as an American and somebody who served over there, somebody who wore this country's uniform, I'm ashamed that our nation has turned its back on its people. Matt Hosepian says we can all debate the war and whether the U.S. should have pulled out from Afghanistan, but you can't argue this. We can have that debate. That's fine. I don't think there's much room for debate whether or not our countrymen should be brought home. The retired Army captain believes there are hundreds more Americans still in Afghanistan than what's being reported. Some stopped at Taliban checkpoints, which were basically sealed after the blast. Basically, the Taliban, through their checkpoints, just made it impossible for Americans to get through. I have secondhand knowledge of documents being taken. Others, he says, were terrified by Taliban members going door to door. He's personally taken calls from distraught servicemen with soldiers with family members begging to cross the border. And I know if a soldier had or a Marine uh, had the ability to let them in, they would do it because we're, it's our blood. Like we're not gonna, we're not just gonna turn our back on our countrymen. Um, and we'll break the rules to, to take care of our countrymen. The husband and soon to be father says all Americans can do now is demand accountability from elected officials. We have the ability to do to see this through and we cut and run. Strong words. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said today there are around 100 Americans left in Afghanistan tonight. But Matt Hosepian believes that number is two to 300 Americans pleading to get out. And he says even one left behind is too many.